What's up, everyone? Deuces Jack at VapingInsider.com. Got a new Duel 18650 mod for you. Check it out. 218 watts. It's the Yugo Vapor Raider. And I got the Manga Edition. You know what Manga is? It's a form of Japanese comic book art and graphic novel art. So I learned something new when I looked it up. I'm happy about the one that I got because I'm rocking my Falcon, my Horizon Tech Falcon on top. That green one is tough to match with a mod. I think this one goes really well. It's got a 0.96 inch OLED squared off display. It comes in a bunch of different funky colors that I can't even explain. Definitely go to Yugo Vapor's website and check it out. If, you, if you're if you Mr. Funkadelic, you'll enjoy the colors that it comes in. This one has a very similar form factor to the Tesla WYE mod. It's a very popular mod. Is this a Tesla WYE killer? Watch the whole video and find out what we think. Look at that thing. Check it out. This thing's wacky looking. Look at that. I mean, wow. Talk about loud, huh? Check it out. Let's put it on deck for a second. Let's go over the rest of the contents of the packaging. You do get a Raider Mage user manual. You get a Yugo Vapor warranty card. A warning card for battery safety. And you get a nice little braided shorty micro USB cable. As usual, let's start off on top with the 510 connection. Right here, you have a spring-loaded gold-plated 510, which I would say has a stiff spring with a nice long throw. You got cutouts over here on the 510 plate. The 510 plate is stainless steel. This will hold 28 millimeter atomizers without any overhang. So that's a nice job by that. And even 30 millimeter atomizers will only overhang the very slightest right on the front right here. So that's kind of cool. They did a nice job with the 510 placement. Let's take a better look around this whole thing so you can appreciate all the colors. Check out that fruit salad type of look, man. It's different than your normal type of stainless steel or just black mod. I don't know if you can see it, but there's some texture here where, it's, where it says Raider. It's really, really nice. Gives it a nice grip when you hold it. Okay, there's also some more texture here. All right, nice job on it. The looks aren't going to be for everyone, but it's different, that's for sure. Nice big squared off screen, nice oversized clicky fire button, nice clicky plus and minus buttons. There is your micro USB port. Here is your battery door right here. Now, because it's plastic on the back, right, you don't have to worry if you, one of your batteries has a tear. You're not going to short out against this door. You should still check your wraps anyway. You have four magnets on each corner of the battery door it also kind of clips into place let me show you you hear that kind of snaps into place and there's really no way no wrong way to put it on you can put it on this way too it's up to you doesn't matter a lot like the like the tesla Wii, right there was no right or wrong way to put the door on so that's kind of neat it's got leva style contacts that's a little old school not too sure about that they are gold plated they do work well Got them on both sides. The battery indicator markings, they should be done in white. That's going to be a con that they didn't do that. But it is a clean looking battery tray. Let's install some batteries. Batteries we're going to be using today are Galici S30 Pro Series. Positive side up over here. Just snap them in like that. Negative side up over there. Boom. Pop it in just like that. Put your battery door on. Clips in nice. Gives you a nice satisfying click. No movement, man. This thing's as solid as they come. They did a good job with that. There's your screen. No battery rattle. No button rattle. Nice job on that. There's your clock feature. I absolutely love that clock feature. Nice big screen. Check it out. Separate battery meters. Power mode. Soft preheat. Your time. Your puff counter. Your wattage. Your puff counter in seconds. And then over here, you have your resistance, your voltage, and your amps. Now, one thing about this battery meter. This battery meter has not been accurate. The B side is always draining faster. No matter what set of batteries I use, it's kind of ridiculous. They drain faster, right? And then once it gets below halfway, 
they kind of even out. So I don't understand what's going on with this battery meter and the way it's reading all my batteries. I even tried new sets of batteries and it's still doing that. So I just wanted to point that out. Now the menu system on this thing is as simple as it gets. Of course, five clicks on, five clicks off. We know that, right? Hit the fire button three times. Now you can scroll between power, NI200, TI, stainless steel 316, bypass, and curve mode. Let's go back to stainless steel 316. Hit the fire button to confirm. You see my wattage below it. If I want to change the wattage, one, two. Now I can change the wattage up or down. Real, real simple. If I want to go back to power mode, one, two, three. Now I'm back in power mode. If I want to change my preheat, one, two. Now I can go between soft, normal, power plus, and back to soft. I'm running a mesh coil on it, so I normally leave it in soft mode. But really, really simple menu system. If you hit the plus and minus button together, the system locks, right? Now I can't adjust my wattage, but I can still fire, okay? In order to unlock it, hit the plus and minus button together again, it's unlocked. The plus plus the fire button brings you into the main menu setting. Here you can adjust your time, your brightness, your puff counter. You can put it in stealth mode. You can fool around with your TCRs. You can put it back to factory default, and then you can exit. And that's it, folks. That's really the whole menu system. Super, super simple to navigate. Love the screen. Just disappointed in the battery meter. Let me zoom out for you so you can get a look at the whole thing. I got my Falcon tank on there. One of the only mods this tank actually matches. I think it looks badass on there. Check it out. Let's talk about the cons and the pros. First con is going to be that battery meter I showed you down low. It's been doing it on every set of batteries I have. I even tried multiple brand new sets. That battery meter is just not accurate. It seems to get accurate as it goes down, but that's a big con in my book. I don't know if it's a one-off problem with mine or if all of them do that, but I don't like that. I don't like not having an accurate battery meter. I don't know if one battery is draining faster than the other. When I take them out and I go to recharge them, it doesn't seem to be the case, but that still makes me feel uncomfortable. I got to give them a big con on that. The battery indicator markings in the battery tray are done in black. That's a con. That funky look of it, that just might not be for everyone, so I'm going to give it a subjective con on that. Some people just aren't going to like these loud-looking mods, so we'll give them a con for it. The other con is I looked all over, looked at the website, looked at a couple of different sites, I can't tell if it's firmware upgradable or not. For the purposes of this review, we'll say no, and we'll give them a con for it. Let's move on to the pros, because there's, there's a few of them, that's for sure. First pro is going to be, I like that funky look, man. I like that loud stuff. That's my thing. I definitely like the way they did this, so I'm going to give them a pro for that. Next pro is that clock feature. They use that whole screen for that big clock. I showed it to you down low. I love it. I'm giving them a pro on that. Could have given them a pro for the form factor. Really, really comfortable in the hand. It's got that Minikin V2 type of form factor. We'll give them a pro. Next pro is the battery door. They did a bang up job on it. It's solid. It don't move. That's a pro. No button rattle, no battery rattle. Things built solidly. We'll give them a pro for that as well. 28 millimeter atomizers with no overhang. 30 millimeters will actually look decent if you're not OCD about your overhang. We're going to give them a pro. Big, bright screen that's well laid out with no nonsense information on it. We're going to give them a pro on that. Super easy menu system. That's always a pro on this channel. And the last pro is the TC on it is actually pretty decent. So I'm going to give them a pro for that as well. So let's talk about it. Let's talk about the Yugo Vapor Raider Mage. Do I like it? Yeah, man. It's a nice knock around mod. The battery thing, the battery issue, the battery meter definitely bothers me. Hopefully it is firmware upgradable and they'll fix it on a firmware upgrade. But I don't know. I haven't seen it anywhere that it is. I checked because I figured if there is a firmware upgrade, let me do it. Maybe it'll fix the battery meter. But I haven't been able to find out whether it's upgradable or if I got a one-off problem with the battery meter. Otherwise, though, it performs beautifully. It's a great knockaround mod. Super easy carry because it's light. I've definitely been enjoying it.
Back to our original question at the beginning of the video, is this mod a Tesla WYE killer? I have to say, it has a very similar form factor and feel in the hand. The performance is very comparable as well. Is it better than the WYE? That's gonna have to be up to you. I think they're too close to call. Your decision in buying either one of them is gonna come down to looks. If you like those funky colors, then definitely check this one out. Hit us up in the comments. Let me know what you think. Do you like that funky look? Do you like the different colors that they made this mod in? Is that your thing? Or do you think it's just butt ugly? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. I want to thank Health Cabin for sending this to me for review. We're going to have a link down below to their website where you can go buy it. Definitely check them out. They got some nice pricing. Make sure you click on the thumbnails on the screen. Check out some of our other great videos. And that's it, folks. That's all we got today. We're going to see you guys on the next one. You keep living that vape life. We're out of here. Deuces.